Bay Royal Incorporated How the British Royals Make Their Money The House of Windsor has a long history of allowing working and non-working royals to profit from their positions. Queen Elizabeth owns 6.6 .6 billion acres of land because of her royal position. Queen Elizabeth II is world's largest landowner owning 6.6 .6 billion acres. This is inherited and unearned. The closest runner-up Saudi king holding control over a mere 547 million acres. This is about 12% of the lands owned by Her Majesty, the Queen. The Mountbatten Windsors by the way are said to be the wealthiest family on earth. The numbers reported in their newspaper are just a fraction. Forbes estimates monarch's net worth at $88 billion. It's been reported that Meghan Markle has prompted fury from the palace by investing in clever lands. This is surprising why would the largest landowner in the world become furious about an investment in a latte company? Palace insiders revealed there were more than a few raised eyebrows after it emerged Meghan invested in Clever Blends. A startup that makes oat milk lattes, as she builds her portfolio of startup investments. Meghan like the rest of the Windsors are known for being business friendly and business savvy. The Queen is reported to even own a McDonald's. The symbol of American business. When Covid-19 hit and the palace had fewer visitors, the Queen put on her entrepreneurial hat. She began selling gin to supplement her income. Queen Elizabeth is selling Buckingham Palace gin. So, when reports coming out of the palace state that the Windsors are upset with Duchess Meghan's entrepreneurial ventures it is a contradiction. The Windsors a symbol of wealth upset about investments? This is a PR disaster for the British royal family because wealth is created through entrepreneurship. Right now, Britain is talking about being the next Singapore. Singapore was built with a strong work ethic and entrepreneurship. How can the dream of global Britain be realized vision while its press derides the Susks' entrepreneurial spirit? So how did the royals make all their riches? Prince William's Kensington Palace benefited from the slave trade. Taxpayers pay for all working royals' expenses. They just had a problem with paying for the mixed race prince. So much for the Commonwealth being one big family. Duke Harry and Duchess Meghan stepped away from their roles after relentless bullying by the press. Now the British press are incandescent with rage that they are venture capitalists. Surprising no one is ever enraged by working royals HRHs investing in businesses. The Queen made £9 million from horse racing in one year. Princess Michael of Kent whose husband is number 48 in the line of succession. Is allowed to use her HRH in book publishing private ventures. Prince Harry and his mixed race bride aren't allowed to use their HRHs for commercial ventures. All other working and non-working royals are allowed to profit from their royal connections. The Queen Elizabeth II the monarch profits from the royal brand and private ventures. Prince Charles owns a bed and breakfast in Scotland. Prince Charles sells organic food from his duchy estate. He is the heir apparent. Prince William and Kate Middleton trademarked Kensington Royals. Sussex royal trademarking was deemed unacceptable for commercializing the royal brand. But William is allowed to trademark Kensington Royal as a working royal. William is second in line to the throne. Kensington Royal and Sussex Royal global trademarks are identical. Duchess Sarah is always going into commercial deals. Princess Beatrice uses her HRH for commercial purposes. She is a non-working royal and not a word from the Lord Chamberlain. Prince Andrew HRH another non-working royal. With an estimated net worth of over £50 million to be conservative. He is described as a very well-connected businessman. The Lord Chamberlain does not have a problem with Andrew earning £500,000 or marketing himself as royal. The Duke of Sussex who married a mixed-race woman is not allowed to use his HRH. He has been heavily criticized for engaging in free enterprise even though Britain is a capitalist nation why? 
all the lower ranked royals are allowed to engage in business. They are allowed to use their HRHs. Why not Prince Harry and his wife Meghan? What is it about people of color and of African descent in particular investing and owning property that unsettles the establishment so much? Meghan Markle ran a successful lifestyle brand before marrying Prince Harry. Why are the Duke and Duchess of Sussex criticized for doing what other royals are allowed to do? Are people of the Commonwealth only accepted by the British royals as long as they maintain a subservient role? If Britain is going to be global Britain then women and people of color must be free to engage in free enterprise. Thank goodness Meghan and Harry and Archie have moved away from the small-mindedness of England to pursue life, liberty, and financial independence. Charities are not funded by kindness alone. This is a capitalist world and charities need capital to fund their initiatives. This faux outrage is the reason that royal charities are closing. How can you make a positive difference in the world without proper funding? The relentless bullying of Meghan, Duchess of Sussex the businesswoman turned princess turned venture capitalist is appalling. How can Britain be global Britain when her journalists criticize free enterprise? Meghan Markle was a businesswoman before she was royal. Prince Charles makes millions from his investments, good for him. Clearly the Lord Chamberlain and the College of Arms have no issues with the word royal being used by all other royals. The rules change for Meghan and Harry. It is royal protocol to change the rules for the mixed race duchess. The royals engage in free enterprise and why not Meghan the Duchess of Sussex? Thanks for listening subscribe and share.